Hello, my name is David Trimberger. This is attempt number three at IV insertion. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is gather up all my materials, such as a universal IV start kit, which will have an antiseptic solution, uh, some form of either tachyderm, coban. Um, it'll also have tape, tourniquet, and then I'm going to gather up an IV flush, grab a properly fitting IV catheter for the correct site location, my IV solutions, and proper PPE. And then I'm going to grab my solution and inspect that it's the right kind, the expiration date, check the clarity of it, and make sure that it has both of its tail port covers. Then I'm going to grab my IV tubing, check to make sure that there are no kinks or twists, make sure that this will be for the proper drip rating, it has both of its tail port covers, and that the flow clamp is as close to the fill chamber as it can, and make sure that it is hosed. Set that aside, put on proper PPE, okay. spike my bag, turn it upside down, fill my fill chamber about halfway. Get all my large air bubbles out. Close my clamp off, set that aside. Okay, once I have my solution set up, I'll explain to my patient we're going to be starting an IV. I plan on going into your arm. Uh, this is going to allow us to be able to get IV access to you so we can give you medications as well as also be able to draw some blood off of you. Um, so I'm going to eyeball kind of what looks like somewhat of a good IV location. Um, once I find a good spot, then I will take my tourniquet, tie a super quick basic knot, one that I can be able to very easily pop off with one hand. Um, go over and instruct my patient to clench his fists. Make it to where I can be able to see his vein pop out. Palpate. Once I feel a vein and I get a bounce, I'll take note of that's where I'm going to go. I'll open up my antiseptic solution. I will start at the center then I'll work my way out. Grab my IV, inspect my IV catheter for burrs, allow my area to dry, and I'm going to pull my skin taut, make sure my bevel is up, then all right, you're going to feel stick, one, two, three, big stick, sorry, one, two, three, big stick. Advance my catheter to where the hub is almost touching the skin. Going to make sure that I feel a pop or get some form of a flash return. Take my stylet, put it off into the sharps container, and then going to hold pressure distal above the IV site. And take some gauze, put it underneath. Then I'll take my IV flush. And then I will pop the tourniquet, and then I will slowly push my saline. If I can push my saline pretty easily, then that means that I haven't blown my vein, or I will make note of it to make sure that I haven't blown my vein. I can then also pull back, and if I get fluid to come out, then I can. Then I also know that I'm in the vein. I can put this off to the side, um, give it to the hospital whenever we arrive. Hold pressure, and then tape off my IV. Take coban or tachyderm. Stabilize my IV. Attach my IV solution. 
open it up to the proper flow rate, uh, make sure that I have the proper drip rating, and then I will evaluate my patient for um, any signs of irritation with the IV site and that they have uh, are getting a proper therapeutic response or checking any change in patient condition. Thank you.